Known for her beautiful creations, teacher and event planner Diane Denny of Exquisite Events SVG has an eye for beauty. But while she was adding her touch of beauty to other people's weddings and lives, Diane was facing a beauty issue of her own, alopecia. Alopecia is uh, hair loss, premature hair loss. It all started when Diane was about 24 years old. I never had like very long hair, you know, my hair was always around hair, length, you know. Um, and for years I would have it permed, relaxed and that sort of thing. Then one day I got up and I noticed that there was some hair on the pillow. I thought that was strange, I, I didn't think anything of it. But then as I kept combing my hair, brushing my hair, I noticed that a lot of hair started coming out. Um, a lot more hair than what normally would come out. Um, I know and this kept, you know, happening over a period of time. And then after a while, you know, I started seeing space. I started seeing spaces around my hairline in the center, in the middle of my head, I started seeing space. And that space turned into bald spaces. And it was scary. It was scary at the time because, you know, as a, a young lady, you know, you would always say your hair is your beauty. And it was a very troubling time, difficult, extremely difficult time in my life. I went to the doctor, I did various tests, there was absolutely nothing wrong with me. I went to various hair salons, you know, I tried braiding, it moved from that into weaving my hair. And this happened over a period of years, trying to hide my spots, my bald spots. And this basically went on for years, years as in years. I felt as if I was stifling. It was so difficult because like I said as a female as a young female you are always taught that your hair is your beauty so I, I basically tried to hold on to the hair that I had left alopecia has had several emotional impacts on her then pretty soon there was very little hair left now at that time at that stage this is years after you know, I was so dumb, so depressed. I mean, I hid it for a very long time. Only my, my very close friends, my parents, only they knew, you know, about it. Um, but it was extremely difficult. After years of hiding, Dian in 2020 started a journey of self-renewal. On that journey, she started to respond to alopecia and take her life back. This thing I, I say it all the time, exercise saved me. And I say that because in late April of last year, that um, 2020, I started taking a good look at myself. Physically, I wanted to change physically, so I started eating right, I started exercising, and you know, I started losing the weight. Um, I lost a total of 50 pounds, and that was enough to, you know, start a change in me in terms of how I think of myself. Okay, um, so it started there, it gave me more confidence I started liking me more you know 
and I, I, I really wanted to keep that going. So it started off for us as a physical change or as me wanting to change physically and it spilled over into a mental change because from that I got that courage to then go a step further. And of course, I, I, I had some very good friends, not had, have some very good friends who guided me along the way. One of those friends on the journey of self-renewal with Dian was Michelle Harris. Um, you know, I've met Dian a couple of years back. And uh, as she would rightly say, her self-confidence, her self-esteem was kind of low, you know, with her weight and all that. Okay, at first I didn't know she had alopecia. I one day asked her, you know why she wear wig all the time, and she just gave me that cute smile, and she left it at that. And then it was like probably months after she revealed to me what was al that she had alopecia. This is the first I was hearing about that. I didn't know the meaning of it, so I asked her, and you know, she then explained a few things to me, and then I went online, and I looked up to see exactly what it was. And, you know, from there on, I started, you know, talking to her, encouraging her. And so, one day, she called me and she said to me, I feel like doing a photo shoot today. So, I said, who would you get to do a photo shoot this time of the day? So, she said, you. Well, I laugh. Because, mm -hmm. <laughs> me doing a photo shoot. Anyway, I told her we would go. We went to the beach. And she was all excited because she hadn't been in a swimsuit for how long. We went to the beach. To be honest, we did nothing spectacular. We just had something to drink. I had wine, she had a rum punch, and we just sat there and relaxed. We talked. Well, we did the photo shoot, which came out very well. And then we swam a bit. That was it. I then took her to dinner at a nearby restaurant, and we just talked, and you know, that was it. We came home. We put the pictures up, you know, everybody was like in awe over them. So I guess that started boosting her confidence a bit. From there, I just decided that was it. A few days after I came home, I looked at myself and I took a shaver. One night I was home, a photo came in. I looked at the photo, I said, but it looked like Diane, but it can't be. By the time I was about to call her, a second photo came. Then I saw it was the end. I started crying. And I shaved off the little, and I said, the little hair that was left on my head. Because there was the end, cut off whatever hair she had remained, and was all bald. I called her immediately. I said, Diane, did you show Ricky this? She said, no, you're the first person. I said, did you show your mom? She said, no, I said, you're the first person. I said, okay. I said, anyway, here is my new supermodel. Because she was looking also like a model. I was taken aback. I was joyful. I was sad. I was, I was, every, all the emotions just started coming out. And that was it. Today, still on her journey, Dian is calling on other women suffering from alopecia to stop hiding. I see women, um, total strangers. I would see them in town, um, see them here and there. And I know that they have it. I don't know if they know that they have alopecia. Um, I know that they know that they have hair loss. But I know that they have it because I could tell I could sense it. I can see it. You know, some of the very same things that they do now, those are the things that I used to do. For example, when I had bald spots and I was wearing braids, I would try to pull the braids a certain way to hide that bald spot. But then in between those braids, you would see, you know, you would see the spaces still. So I can see. I can see and I know where they are. They are at the stage where I was where you feel so self-conscious, you feel embarrassed, you know, um, and you're trying to hide it. So they are not at that stage where I am now. So I know exactly how they feel. 
she is calling on women to join the movement of freedom. If this is what is happening to you, my advice is to accept it. Accept it. Now, mind you, I'm not trying to knock wigs. I want everyone to understand that. I wore wigs for years. There's nothing wrong with wearing wigs. I love wigs. As a matter of fact, from time to time, I would still wear a wig. But the thing is now is that a wig should be a choice. It's not a necessity. So once you understand that, then you're totally fine. Her main message is, you are not your hair. You know, I think it's important to embrace and to love the skin that you are in, regardless of whether or not you have hair on your head. Because at the end of the day, your hair is not you. Your hair is just a part of you. And some folks would have it like a fashion, which is fine. I know in some countries, women shave their hair for various reasons. They shave their heads for various reasons. That's also fine. But I'm speaking to the women who do not have a choice. The women like me. If you have lost your hair or if you are losing your hair, it's okay to be bald. You have to love the skin you're in. Now, mind you, back at that time, if someone had told me about this, I would not have taken it in. And I think it's because I was not at that place yet mentally. All right. So it's very important for you to love your skin, but it's also important for you to understand that it's a journey. And when you get to that place mentally, then you would accept it. Don't rush it. Okay. Take it all in um, and you will get to that place. I promise you, eventually it would be so much easier for you. Okay. So just accept it take your time move forward and just love the skin that you are in and there are lots of groups out there facebook has so many support groups about alopecia research it there's a lot of groups out there i am um i'm actually in about three facebook groups all dealing with alopecia and they're fantastic i've never seen so many bald-headed beautiful women uh, all over the world. Bald girls rock. Dian's journey continues. I used to be so afraid. I'm not afraid anymore. And you don't need to be afraid either. For One News SVG, I am Damien Mactier.